Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. Right now, we're looking at the W6LVP loop. This is the loop that I use here in sunny South Florida. The homeowners association here does not allow antennas, so I had to opt for a loop. And this is the loop that I decided to go with. And I had this originally indoors, and it was on a tripod here and propped near the window and I snuck it outside and so far so good. It's been out there for about three weeks, nobody said nothing and hopefully it stays that way. And the coax is LMR 400. It is going between these air conditioning units and surprisingly zero RF. Uh, at least nothing that I can significantly notice. And it comes in through a Comet window pass-through. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for this. Uh, this thing is great. And the LMR 400 is here goes straight into the closet shack, which is probably not going to focus. All right, we got focus. And here is the shack. Here is where I do just about everything I do for SDR Play and for the SDR Play YouTube channel and the SDR Play Hand Guys channel. So there's the LMR 400. We have the secondary loop, which is going to go up. That's right here. I'm just waiting on coax. Just some documentation on the wall, some data sheets, and it gets fed into the W6 LVP loop power inserter, and they use a linear power supply. It's pretty good quality, no RFI, nothing. I have a ton of wires down there, and from there, it's fed into a Streisberg 8-port uh, splitter combiner. It's feeding a RSP Duo, a Perseus, and an ELAD S2. And then additionally on the desk, it's feeding a FM, uh, FDM Duo, which I use for receive, a clear DSP, which I use to cut down on the hiss. I'm also using an ELED uh, Teammate 2, which controls s And I'll do another video on this. An ELED SP1 external speaker, which is hooked up to the Duo. And this is the the desk. This is where everything happens. This is where I do all the support tickets. I do all the videos. And this is where I work every day. All right, here's the loop. The plane of the loop is pointed exactly 40 degrees northeast. And the second loop I'm going to run for the RSP Duo is going to be placed right over here. I'm going to rip this stake out and put another one in. I'm going to move the original loop a little bit further down. And this one's going to stay at 40 degrees northeast. And the exact degrees of where this one's going to go, it's going to go northwest, pointed that way. So I'm not using loops to null out noise. Believe it or not, these air conditioners don't create any noise for me. I'm running LMR 400 into an MFJ, I think that's a 915, which then goes into a Comet window feed. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it goes straight into the house, into the... Uh, closet office and as I said I'm not doing loops to minimize noise I'm doing loops because I can't put anything else up over here and so far nobody has said anything so I'm gonna leave it like that I don't want to take a chance if I had the opportunity I would use uh, like a 9 to 1 with an end fed and run it right up that that palm tree or straight up into this tree but I can't so this is not so it doesn't really stick out all that much, but just want to give you guys a quick look at the loop that I'm using now. And as I said, I'm pointing this exactly northeast, and the bearing is 40 degrees, and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, let's take a look at the pattern of a wideband loop, magnetic loop, receive. It is a figure eight pattern, so the gain is front to back with the null going through the center. So. Here is the top part of the loop, which is the plane of the loop, and here is the axis of the loop. And it's telling you here, maximum gain is front to back. Front to back. So I'm not using a loop to mitigate noise. I'm using a loop because I have HOA restrictions here, and I want to keep it as low profile as possible. So looking at the pattern of this loop, I figured my best bet would be to point it 40 degrees northeast. You know, either either side, the front or the back. 
uh, 40 degrees northeast. Most of the stations that I want to listen to are transmitting from this area of Europe. Now, I'll get some stuff from uh, Africa, South America, stuff like that. But it's going through the plane of the loop. It still picks it up. So when I put the second loop up, the first loop, as I said, is going 40 degrees northeast. The second loop is going to go 320 degrees northwest. And I will be running the RSP Duo in diversity uh, mode, where it's going to use both tuners at the same time and, uh, in theory, give me a better SNR. Or I can use it in single tuner mode and pick whichever loop I want to use. So that basically wraps up this video. I'll put links in the description to most of the stuff that I showcased in this video. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. 73.